Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to connect your games to X1 to your iOS device so you can play PUBG or any other games with a keyboard and mouse. So this is the updated 2020 version. So this will work on the latest iOS device. So as you can see I have an iPhone 6S Plus. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to connect it. So first thing what you're going to do is you're going to go into the App Store and you're going to search for these two apps. First one is Gcrux, which is right here. So you want to download this app, Gcrux, and the other app you want to download is FPS Doc, which is right here. So make sure you download those two apps. So now, once you've downloaded those two apps, you're going to go into your settings, Bluetooth, and you're going to turn on your game to X1 and connect it via Bluetooth. As you can see, FPS stock, we'll just connect that, we'll just connect to that, pair, and it's done. So now you've got the two apps installed. First, what you're going to do is you're going to tap G Crux. G Crux will like to use Bluetooth, press OK. Now, it's now detected our FPS stock and it's asking us to update the firmware, which we're going to upgrade now. Got it. So you just want to keep the phone running while it's updating. So I'll just let it update. Uh, it's going to take a bit of time, but once it's updated, we'll be right back. So the update has been successfully completed. So now it's currently disconnected. So we're going to go ahead and reconnect our game to X1. So our software has been successfully upgraded. So now we're going to go into FPS stock. And FPS Stock would like to use your Bluetooth, hit OK. So we're going to go to Game Mapping Config. And we have to upgrade the firmware again. So we tap to upgrade. And then tap Firmware Upgrade, or it does it automatically. So as you can see, it's now updating our firmware. Shouldn't take long, maybe like two minutes or three minutes. But once it's done, I uh, will go ahead and take you to the next step. So now the upgrade has been successful. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of here. So now we're going to go into our Bluetooth settings. And we're going to forget this device. Forget device. And now we're going to turn on our game to X1 again. And now it's going to start looking for our iPhone right here. Tap on FPS dock, pair, and it's connected. So what we're going to do is first we're going to connect our keyboard and mouse to the game to X1, which I've already done. Then we're going to launch PUBG Mobile. And now we're going to go into our settings, controls. Now we're going to tap customize. And we're going to take a screenshot of this layout here. As you can see, I've taken a screenshot. I'm going to exit out of the game for a moment. Go into FPS Stock. Select Screenshot. And we're going to add our screenshot. So now, now with this section, it's a bit more fiddly because you do have to customize, change around, fiddle with the controls, make sure it's working and it's to your liking. So what you do first is you go into config and you select the pre PUBG mobile official config. As you can see, it's already preloaded for you. And now with this section, you just need to customize the buttons, change around, um, make sure it's um, laid out properly. So in order to move a, um, a layout or a uh, button config, you can just tap and hold and you can move it around just like this. So, um, for example, if you want to create a new key binding, all you have to do is just tap and hold the screen. As you can see, a red circle with a question mark, question mark will pop up. And if you want to set it to, let's say, for example, V, you just hit the V button on your keyboard, like this, and there you go, V. And now, if I want to get rid of this little B, I just simply hold and drag, 
and there's a bin icon on top of your screen and you just hold and drag just like that and we put our letter V right there and we'll put one more V for our second single fire shot there so so it's a bit of fiddling around you know you ha do have to you know it's a bit of trial and error as well so you do have to uh, take your time and but in the end it's all worth it and you'll be able to play your PUBG mobile game so now what I'm going to do is let's just say that I've configured everything everything is all to my liking I satisfied with uh, my layout what you can do is now you'll have to press save input a name we'll just call it PUBG1 we'll just hit here save and it's saved and now when you press the download button it's now downloaded it and uh, to our PUBG mobile game so every time you do launch PUBG mobile and you want to use your keyboard and mouse you do have to launch the FPS dock so uh, you have to launch the FPS dock then you have to go into config PUBG 1 which is your custom config layout press download and it will be saved into your PUBG Mobile and then you can start playing PUBG Mobile so let's go ahead and I'll show you how it's done so now I'm going to go into a training map and we'll show you the uh, and I'll show you how and I'll show you how it's done using a keyboard and mouse so as you can see right now I'm in training mode um, I've got my WASD as my movement as you can see I'm using my keyboard to move around I'm using my mouse to look and view, so I don't have to press any buttons, it pretty much automatically does it for you. And let's say, for example, um, let's go ahead and pick up a gun. Obviously, you do have to change your sensitivity. Um, as you can see right now, I need to move my mouse a lot, just to look left or right. But, uh, let's say I want the M7. Let's pick up some gun. Uh, let's pick up the bag and let's pick up some scopes where's the scopes let's go to right here so let's say we'll pick up a two times scope uh, get a red dot as well alright so I've preloaded it so when I right click on my mouse I can aim and I can fire with my left mouse, as you can see right there. Press R for reload, and there you go. So it's almost like playing PUBG on your computer, except it's on mobile. So, yeah, and I can press 2 to swap out guns, do the same thing. And yeah, so that's how you play PUBG Mobile uh, with your Game to X1 on your keyboard and mouse. So this is the 2020 update version. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think, whether it's worked or not. And yeah, thank you for watching.